You're listening to an archived Cabral Concept podcast. After listening to this show, check out the most up-to-date podcasts available at stephencabral.com slash podcasts or search directly on iTunes. And now, welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Today on our Total Wellness Tuesday, we're going to be talking about how you can look 10 years younger, and I believe this literally can start in as little as 21 days or sooner. I'm going to share with you why I've seen that work in my practice. So one of the big things is that when you're trying to look younger, you have to look at one specific place on your body. And that one place is typically your face, right? That's the thing that people see right away. That is what you're looking at in the mirror. That's what kind of you're judging yourself on. Now, I know that there are other parts of your body. You might say, well, you know, if I lost this much weight or this was a little bit trimmer, I would look younger, whatever it might be. But I can tell you this, that if you can change the overall youthfulness of your the appearance of your face, that you will start to look younger right away. Now, believe it or not, there are a lot of ways you can do this without makeup, without all sorts of different things. Now, any of those things can help, right? Like a new hairstyle could help, trimming of a beard, like any of those things could absolutely help to make you look younger. There's no doubt about that. But what I want to do is I want to give you essentially five steps today that is just going to, honestly, no more than 21 days and you can start right away to start to look 10 years younger. The reason I say that, I did say I would share that with you, is that we've had people go through all sorts of different programs and protocols at our weight loss and personal training center in Boston and also at our wellness center in Boston. Both those locations and both groups, so wellness or weight loss, are essentially coming back with the same feedback that not only do they feel younger, they say that people tell them that they look younger. And the reason is pretty simple and pretty straightforward. And I want to tell you this is that when you're taking care of your overall body, what happens is the appearance of your skin and the actual appearance and shape of your face starts to change. Now, I'm not talking bone structure wise. I'm talking the actual inflammation, the puffiness, the bags under the eyes, all of those things start to go away. And so I want to share with you exactly how to do that right now. So the first step you're going to want to do, and this is where most people look, so I figured why not start here, is with your skincare regimen. Now, I will be talking a lot more skincare in the future because the problem is so many people are putting things on their skin right now that temporarily give them a little bit of a boost. But the issue is that a lot of the moisturizers they're using, a lot of the face and also hair products they're using are actually filled with lots of cancer-causing chemicals. And I talk about this on Instagram all the time. If you haven't gone to Instagram yet, just go to instagram.com forward slash Stephen Cabral. And there, literally every day, I just give really quick tips. Maybe take you 30 seconds to read, but I outline a lot of these chemicals, a lot of these issues that people are actually applying to their skin. The issue is that your skin is porous, which means anything you put in your skin actually gets absorbed right into your bloodstream. So it's pretty dangerous if you're not using the right products. So In terms of taking care of your skin, let me just share with you today. You do want to gently exfoliate your face, uh, and and that's very, very important. When I say gently exfoliate, it's different than dry brushing. So dry brushing can be so great for your body, and you probably heard me mention that before. I will do a whole show on it, but I also uh, just want to let you know that you honestly can't mess up dry brushing as long as you literally stroke towards your heart in all directions. So wrist to the armpits, ankles up to the groin, you do that you're going to be moving the lymph and you can just basically do it three strokes on each line basically of the body going straight up, straight up, then just kind of move in a circle around the leg all the way up to the groin. And then from the wrist, you can just stroke all the way down to the armpits. You can even just use your hand if you don't have a dry brush, but it's so inexpensive to get a dry brush that, you know, why not? You can just get it at your local natural food store or supplement store, or we'll link it up online as well. And you can just have one shipped right to your home. So, 
Dry brushing is fantastic because it moves the lymph, and that's why you have to move the lymph in your body. If not, your body and the lymph, which is four times greater than the amount of blood in your body, gets stagnant. And when things are stagnant, you start to look older. You just do. So the other thing, too, is when you're gently exfoliating your face, what you want to remember is that the skin on your face is just a lot more sensitive. So whether you're using a very light brush, you can certainly do that. Whether you're using a let's say a scrub with a little bit of, let's say coffee in there or something like that, that will help exfoliate as well. How many times per week? Maybe every other day at the very, very most, once or twice a week will work great as well. Just make sure not to be too abrasive with it. And you also have to judge your skin. So skin's a little bit more challenging to say, this is how many days a week you should exfoliate because you might be someone who can only do it on like, you know, a Sunday morning because your skin is sensitive and stays red for, uh, let's say 24 hours or so. And the other thing I'm going to mention is this. I'm touched out on just a moment ago about moisturizers and all these chemicals, do try to stay with natural oils that you use on your skin. So argan oil, jojoba oil, apricot seed oil, and again, I'll be going to more of this in the future. For right now, these oils, they don't just block moisture from coming out of your skin, which is what most moisturizers do. Most moisturizers do not put moisture into your skin. They actually block it from coming out, and that's not necessarily a good thing. I want your skin to be able to breathe. I want your moisture to come from at night, you put on a nice, thick coating of oil in the face, you let it seep in to give your body the nourishment that, especially in this cold, like if you live in a cold area right now towards the winter months, you need something to start putting moisture back into your skin. So you do that in the morning, you do it before bed, you can just wipe off the excess. All right, I'll touch on more on that in the future, so definitely stay tuned for that happy to do that. Okay, number two is when you lose weight, you lose weight from your stomach and your face if you cut down on the sugars. So that's so important. Remember, if your face looks thinner and you can see more of your cheekbones and you can see more of your jawline, you're going to look younger. You just absolutely are. Your face is going to be more defined. And what happens is as well, When you start to lose weight, your self-image changes, right? And when your self-image changes, how do you hold yourself? You hold yourself differently. Your shoulders will pull back a little bit more. You're smiling a little bit more. When you smile, you look younger. You just do. You have more vibrant energy. People are attracted to that. You know people right now who are in their 60s and 70s who are just really decrepit and they're just drained of you know of life and then there's those people who are like really chipper and they're like always smiling and they're talking with people those people you're going to say they're like 5 or 10 years younger than their counterparts just because of the energy that they give off. That's just so important. But one of the things that helps with that, just from a a physical standpoint, is really dropping the weight and the highest thing, my highest recommendation is to start to eliminate all of those processed sugars in your life. And the number one thing that we need to eliminate is any beverage with sugar in it. Really, really important. And by sugar, I mean not like you know, a couple grams of natural sugar from like if you're juicing celery and carrot, like that's okay. I'm talking about like the processed stuff you would buy at a, let's say like a a pharmacy, grocery food store out of like the freezer, refrigerator section. Start to reduce that. You will absolutely see that puffiness go down. And that goes into number three is reduce inflammation. I have never seen, this is my kind of like if I had to give you one out of all these five, this is the number one tip. If you can reduce inflammation, If you reduce inflammation, your body is going to absolutely love you. It will. Because you're going to have more energy. You're going to look younger. You're going to have less puffiness. You're going to really exude the type of energy, confidence, vitality that you're looking for out of life. Like So when we talk about our motivation and mindset Mondays, people sometimes they answer and they email in and they say, I want to have this in my life. I want to have more energy. I want to have more zest for life. I want to do things. I want my ambition to be higher. All of these things. I'm telling you, there's a reason why the Cabral concept, the tagline is change your body, change your life. Once you change your body, And once you have the energy that you deserve in life, you're going to be more ambitious. You don't even know that yet. And the reason you don't know it yet is because this is what you're stuck in. You're stuck in this normal. That's your new normal right now. You're in it because of the foods that you eat, the stress that you're under, all of this stuff bombarding you every single day. A lot of it you don't even know. And when you start to reduce the inflammation, when you start to get your body healthier, all of a sudden, 
everything changes, not just your body. That's not how the body works. And that's the big thing in my practice is people come to me and they've tried everything, right? They've tried all sorts of different little things. And hopefully you tuned in yesterday because I talk about that. Everyone who's tried everything, well, here's what to do now. And the reason is they haven't just put the whole thing together. And it's such a huge thing. I don't want to go off on another tangent, but what I can tell you is this. Getting back to the reduction in inflammation. When you reduce inflammation, all of that excess toxic water weight just drops. So whether you're doing the Dr. Cabral detox, whether you are doing some other type of vegetable-based juice or whatever it might be, right? If you reduce that inflammation, and especially with that 12-hour overnight fast I talk about as well, your body is not going to have the same need to hold on to all of that water. And once you drop, not just normal water weight, we're talking normal water weight is fine, but when you're holding on to excess water weight, it makes you look swollen. It makes you look puffy. And the only way to get rid of that is through basically a reduction in inflammation, a detoxification of the body. You can be on a high meat diet, a low carb diet, like any of those things. That's not going to reduce the inflammation necessarily. You have to do something that allows your body to just drop that stress, drop that inflammation. Again, the Dr. Raw Detox is not the only way to do it. It is the number one way that I've ever seen. But the other thing is we have clients just go on our fat lossity nutrition plan, which is essentially a 21-day plan. It's all whole foods. They're eating five times a day. Because remember, this is the plan that kind of weans them off of that unhealthy lifestyle. And it gets them eating healthy whole food choices. And it, it reduces inflammation by the byproduct that they're eating whole foods, no processed foods. Like people telling me they're eating these like chicken sausages and all that stuff. That's still not real food. It's not. A chicken sausage is all sorts of processed meat with nitrates and nitrites. It has all sorts of um, different spices and from probably GMO-based products. They're not good for you. Like that's still not a whole food. You don't jam chicken inside of a pork casing. Like that's not normal. That's not real food. So again, these types of things is just what you're, you're learning through the process and they absolutely do work. All right. Number four. Number four is focus on high water content foods. There's a reason why I am such a big advocate of doing a smoothie for breakfast. And the reason is that when you use a lot of high water content foods, that what does that mean? Well, again, on Instagram, I talk about this all the time, but your, your fruits, your vegetables. Remember, fruit is about 70, 80, even up to 90% water, which means that when you dehydrate them, they get so small, right? Because most of that's just water. So that's not high calorie. It's a lot of water. And what happens is, I know we're talking about we wouldn't get the water out of your body. Well, the best way to do that is you flush your body with additional water, but also with lots of minerals in it. So when you do a smoothie in the morning, and again, if you haven't downloaded my free recipe guide, you have to do that. The free recipe guide just gives you all of my smoothies, so I can't recommend enough checking that up. We'll link it up in the show notes today. I just don't have the page on me right now. And so what I want you to do is just focus on those foods, and when you're getting in those two, three plus cups of water right away when you wake up, especially if you do the protocol that I recommend that I use myself, which is you wake up and you do your greens powder, the daily fruit and vegetable blend that I use, you squeeze your lemon juice in there, and you drink that right away when you wake up. Not only does it revitalize you with energy, but it starts to, again, flush, flush those toxins out of the liver, flush the toxins out of the body, and then you do a smoothie a half hour, hour later after that, your body is getting all the nutrition it needs, all the vitamins it it needs, which brings me to my next point. Your skin cannot regenerate. Your body cannot regenerate without all of the vitamins and minerals and amino acids that it needs. Like that's just, it's basic physiology, it's basic science that a lot of people forget. There's a reason why people say, oh, when I started using glycine or I started using zinc or I started using biotin, which is great for the hair, skin and nails. When I started using all of these different things, all of a sudden my hair my skin, my nails, my appearance, the vibrancy in my eyes, all of those things start to get better. Well, again, like that's not a mystery. It's not placebo. It's not anything like that. Your tissues, the living, your living body, every cell in your body needs minerals. They need vitamins. They need enzymes. They need fats. They need all of these things. So when people say, well, I started using your all-in-one shake. I started using the daily nutritional support. I started using these things. And just over a period of weeks, everything started to get better. Like, again, you can use other products. And I recommend other products. So it's not that I'm saying that. What I'm saying is, if you're not using at least a good quality functional medicine multivitamin, you're missing out. 
It's literally, it's a, it's a fail proof, a fail safe way to keep your nutrition high enough. It's so difficult now, even with eating whole foods. And I've done the science, I've done the studies that most likely in one given day, there's no way you're getting every nutrient that your body needs. Now, can you get it over the course of a week? Sure. But why not get it every day for like two dollars you know what i mean like literally people spend that on they spend three times that much on a fancy latte at a coffee shop that's most likely coming from beans that have been sprayed and pesticide and all sorts of things like that why not just have that plan in place where you get that nutrition every day so before I go off on another rant, what I'm going to do is those are my five tips for you today. And it really, all of those things are very, very achievable. And, and I'm going to be honest right now. So right, taking care of your skin, losing weight, reducing inflammation, focusing on those high water content foods, especially like your AM smoothie and what you do when you first wake up to again, flush and detox your body. And then getting all the nutrition you need through just some good quality functional medicine, at least multivitamin, which is going to contain every product that you need and maybe taking a little omega-3 as well. You are going to get everything your body needs. Now, remember, all of this can be done so simply. Just you know, get yourself on a good quality, predominantly plant-based nutrition plan. Switch out a lot of those chemical-based moisturizers, things like that that you're using right now. Remember, you don't have to do this all at once, but start to plan this for the new year. Remember, your new year is going to be your chance to to start things fresh. And when you start things fresh, it can lead to a lot of excitement. It can lead to you know a new journey, new chapter. And that's why I want to prepare you right now for that. That make 2017 your year. Now, in order to do that though, don't wait till January 1st. Start to put things into place now because we all know the holidays are coming up too in a few weeks from now. Or we're in them, right? We're in them right now. So what I want you to look at is this. Start to one by one chip away at all the different things that you need to do to set yourself up for January 1st so that you're not like most people when January 1st hits. You're like, all right, now I need to start. But you know, by then you're a week or two, three weeks already behind from getting everything that you need. Set up your little medicine, your natural medicine cabinet now. Put those good quality skincare products in there. Start to get yourself set up with ideally the Dr. Ball Detox or something like that. A true functional system of medicine that's going to get that body healthier, that's going to clean it up, or just start with your smoothies in the morning. I'm telling you, that's a great way to start. So again, if I can help you out, if I can answer any of those questions that you need answered before you start on your New Year's resolution, let me know. Just go to stephencabral.com forward slash askabral. I'd be happy to answer those for you on an upcoming weekend house call. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you for listening. Did you know that the body really only becomes sick or unbalanced in only two ways? Over time, you become deficient in vital nutrients and you also accumulate toxins internally and from the environment. As those nutrients diminish and you increase your total toxic load, your body then begins to show the first signs of dis-ease. It's actually quite predictable and the good news is that if we know how you began to fill up that proverbial rain barrel, We also know how to empty it to begin the healing process. I was fortunate enough to learn this ancient healing process from my mentor after suffering from debilitating diseases for close to a decade. It was only when I began to implement these techniques did I finally overcome my illnesses and go on to live a life of energy and vitality that I now enjoy. I'd like to share with you now what I discovered after traveling all over the world and how to combine the best of ancient healing wisdom with state-of-the-art science. Allow me to teach you exactly how I've been able to help over a quarter of a million people to empty their rain barrel and begin to transform their body and lives into what they've always hoped they could be. To get your copy of the international bestseller, The Rain Barrel Effect, simply go to stephencabral.com forward slash rain barrel.